Yeah, good to be here. How are you today? Hey, it's raining at my place, so I think it's a great day to read a story. And the story we've chosen today is How Maui Slowed the Sun. It's by Peter Gossage. Long ago, Tera, the sun, began to move more quickly across the sky. The days became too short to do all the things that had to be done. People could not do much about it, but Maui thought he would try. He gathered his four brothers and said to them, Let us catch the sun and make it move more slowly. It will burn us up. It is impossible, they said. I have a plan, said Maui. If we make strong ropes of flax, we can snare the sun where it rises. The brothers still weren't very happy, but they helped Maui to cut the flax. They plaited paraharaha, flat ropes, and tuamaka, square ropes and round ropes, and Maui chanted karakia as they worked to give the ropes the power they would need to hold the mighty sun. At last the ropes were ready and they set off to where the sun rose. They only travelled during the long nights as they did not want the sun to know they were coming. It was many miles to the home of the sun, but as the bush gave way to shriveled scrub and the ground grew warm underfoot, they knew that they were nearly there. Soon they reached the great pit from which the sun would rise. Help me build a wall of earth to hide behind, said Maui. Hurry, my brothers, for the sun is beginning to awake. Five quickly piled up enough clay to conceal themselves. They crouched beh behind it as the ground began to tremble and shake. Do not throw your ropes until I say so, hissed Maui. And when we have caught it, do not let it go. First, the fiery flames reared above the wall, but Maui kept as still as a tuatara. Then came the great whirling eyes of the sun, and Maui muttered a hiri, or a charm. When the white hot teeth came into view, Maui sprang to his feet. Now, my brothers, he shouted, and the magic rope snaked through the air. They tangled in the sun's fiery hair and they looped around the huge body. Maui leapt onto the wall and he raised the magic jawbone of his grandfather and smashed it down with all his strength onto the head of the sun. The sun shrieked in agony, but Maui continued to rain blows on its flaming face. You will kill Tamanui Tera, screamed the sun. No, said Maui, I will not kill you, but I will make you move more slowly. When the sun was weak and tired, Maui told his brothers to loosen the ropes, and the sun drifted slowly into the air and began to creep across the sky. Now that's why the days are long enough and if you look hard you can sometimes see the magic ropes that bind the sun to the earth. Today with the sun shining through the clouds sometimes it might be a good time to look for those ropes. I'm going to put a, um, a link in this post to say to go to Kite Korero, which is um, some TV programs for Tamariki, and the one I'm putting up today is about Mana and the Sun, and he's also going to tell the story of Maui. So, Kakiti, have a great day, guys. Bye.